introductions. Hello, my name is Peter Pham, and today I will be demonstrating the steps to successfully implement the PSYOP teaching strategy pre-test with a partner, adapted from the Voigt and Echeverria text titled 99 Ideas and Activities for Teaching English Learning with the PSYOP Model. In this mock simulation of this strategy, my hypothetical classroom is a sixth grade class that is mixed with ELL students and English native speaking students alike. The unit this class is beginning in this hypothetical classroom is on the mathematical concept of absolute values. This is appropriate for students in the sixth grade based on the Florida best teaching standards and is a prime candidate to demonstrate how a math setting can still implement the successful completion of language objectives, despite traditionally not relating to reading and writing as much as the students' language arts or history courses would be. This teaching strategy focuses on the building background component of the PSYOP model and would be utilized at the beginning of lessons and or units to provide students chances to communicate with their peers in an academic setting. I will be using a pretest created and included in the handout document of this assignment, and students will have roughly six to nine minutes to complete the pretest, giving student pairs about two to three minutes per problem. Uh, the time allotted will be determined by the specific class taking the pretest, but in my example, I will be using nine minutes. I'm going to share the screen real quick to show assignment. Alrighty, there are three problems there. Their answers are highlighted in red for grading purposes. <laughs> to implement this teaching strategy, students are to be paired up, hand out one pretest for each group of student pairs. When all students have received their pretest, they are to write both names on the handout and they may begin. Students are to work each problem together, reading the problem aloud, discussing what the answer should be until the pair comes to a consensus, and writing down their decided upon answer in the space provided in the shared pretest. They repeat this process for each problem in the pretest. As students discuss and work through the problems, the educator will be cycling around the classroom, observing student conversations for specific areas where their background knowledge is lacking the most. The teacher will mentally prepare the upcoming lessons to focus more attention on the areas where students are struggling the most. For this upcoming unit, we are excited to learn about absolute value. To start our unit with the gathering of background information, we'll begin with a pretest, but we're going to put a twist on the traditional way we take pretest. So today we are going to take a pretest with partners. For the next nine minutes, we will work to complete the pretest. The instructions are simple. First, read out one problem aloud to your assigned partner, then work together to come up with an answer based on what you already know about the subject. It's okay not to know the answer to these questions because this is a pretest, meaning you have not had a formal lesson in this topic before. So it's okay, We're just gonna do our best. When you and your partner have come to a consensus, meaning you both agree on what the right answer could be, write down your answer in the shared handout. Repeat this process for all problems. When all problems have been answered to the best of your ability, you're done. So at this point, we would assign our students into pairs and pass out one pretest per pair of students. A good note of this strategy is to be repeated for multiple lessons and units is to predetermine a pairing setup prior to the class start to ensure students were not paired up together every time they worked through one of these pretests. This allows students to gain more exposure and communicating with multiple classmates in one-on-one -on -one sessions, hence building a stronger basis for communicating with others. In this simulation, students would work together and we as the educators would cycle the classroom observing our students as they discussed and wrote down answers. We take notes on a clipboard in the areas we observe students sharing inaccurate information and or did not have a strong background knowledge in that section. Now, this pretest was designed to prime students into thinking about negative numbers in the form of fractions and whole numbers 
and addressing whether or not students were able to apply their background knowledge to correctly sequence the numbers and visualize their distances from zero. The extent to which the class understands this concept is integral to what areas of teaching are required to take our students' background knowledge and layer on the abstract concept of absolute values. Thank you for watching this video describing how to properly implement the PSYOP model strategy pretest with the partner. Uh, I have been Peter Fan, and I hope you learned something new throughout this video.